Hi everyone, it's Craig here. Welcome back to Craig's Life. I know this has been quite a while. I haven't really been many places recently. I haven't done any hotel reviews because I haven't really been many places. But this one, I thought I'd do you a review on. Last night I was in an Express by Holiday Inn, which I've reviewed. And I'm not going to bother showing you these. But this one, I believe, used to be part of the police college here in Greenwich. This is the Double Tree by Hilton in Greenwich. See what you think. Hi everybody, it's Craig here. Welcome back. First of all, a little bit of an apology because I'm using this with my phone because I forgot my other camera because I didn't pack it with me because I used it for some work that I was doing and forgot to put it back in my bag. So I, hopefully this isn't going to be too bad. So what I'm going to be doing is most of this I'm going to be from behind the camera so you can have a little look at my room right here in the Doubletree by Hilton in Greenwich. So the first thing about this particular hotel, this has cost me £76.50 for the night plus £20 for parking overnight. I hate having to pay for parking, but we're in London. And unfortunately, that is the price that we're having to pay. This is just a, a standard room. Uh, I have got a view overlooking the city, um, which I don't know what the other views were, but um, they were more expensive. And this is actually quite a nice room. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let you have a look at the view and the room. See what you think. Okay, so starting just as I come in here, as we can see, as per usual, as many hotels do, you've actually got the facility where you pop your key card in, it turns the lights on. You've also got this one here, which if you put your card in here, you've got a do not disturb button. And also if you want housekeeping doing as well, which is um, not as many hotels where you've got that in. So just to the side of the main door, there's the nice comfy chair that I was sitting on. And here we've got quite a nice bed. And there's a picture of, I believe, that is part of Greenwich. So um, that may have been the Royal College in Greenwich. Uh, we've got a bedside clock over there. Nice pillows. Nice comfy bed, actually. It's only a queen size. Um, so if there's uh, two of you and you take up a lot of space, you might be fighting on this one a little bit. You've also got this as well, because obviously they're not doing housekeeping because of COVID. If you do want clean towels or clean bedding, you actually put them in this bag um, and leave them outside the door. That's what this instruction's telling you to do here. Then they'll, they'll give you give you clean ones. So obviously here's the, the window and here's the view. So this is a rather pleasant view. Overlooking parts of Greenwich here, which I'm guessing this is what it is. Rather pleasant out there at the moment. Some kids playing. It's nice to see kids playing, enjoying themselves. So as we look this way, it's got a 32-inch TV with a personal welcome saying hello. It's got my name on it. And a nice table and lamp here. If we go across here, we've got our usual wardrobe facility. Over here we have a nice desk with some some water with it as well. Uh, if we look inside of here. Hello, we have got tea, coffee, making facilities safe down here at the bottom. And also we have got ironing board and iron here as well. The hairdryer, of course, there's one which is inside of that drawer right there. Oop, chair's in the way. Never mind, you get the idea. It's in there. And this is the bathroom in here, which is a glass sliding door and we press the switch then it all lights up so we have a nice rainfall as well as an adjustable detachable shower head there pretty nice square looking toilet nice square matching sink nice big mirror and the usual selection of toiletries Just have a little look back at the main room. So all 
Very nice. Very nice indeed. So there you are. That's a quick tour of this room. It's not the sort of um, tour I normally do. I'm normally a little bit more, I want to say professional, but then again, my videos are a little bit amateurish. You probably guessed that one by now. But um, I wanted you to see this room, so I was um, quite happy just to do this with my phone. And as usual, as you know, I always give uh, a hotel room um, a score. I don't like having to pay for parking. That's a bit of a downside, but this is you know London unfortunately we have to pay London prices but anyway time to give this hotel its score one being the worst five being the best without a shadow of a doubt this is a five this is a lovely hotel I haven't actually tried the Wi-Fi yet but this is a Hilton after all this is Doubletree by Hilton so this is going to be pretty good as a whole and with a bit of luck this is a nice bed it's bouncing slightly because this is the bed that i'm resting on so i should i've just noticed the camera is dropping ever so slightly there we go can you see me better now trust me you can see i'm a bit i'm being a bit amateurish today so there we go so this is the double tree by hilton in greenwich if you want to uh, stay here um it's a beautiful building um if you don't want to get anything to eat there's uh, Tesco Express up the road if you'd rather go there the other thing is as well is if you do want parking bays is they did actually email me and ask if I wanted one reserving which they did which I'm glad about because there's not very many there's no more than about 20 spaces back there which is pretty common for central London hotels um, but there we go so this is a five for this hotel and if you're in this area if you want to go to Greenwich there's lots of things uh, down here I'm actually visiting a customer of ours in Peckham which is about a couple of three miles up the road so I'll be heading up there tomorrow um, I can uh, I'd recommend this hotel it's I think I'm gonna be very comfortable here so there we are that's this hotel review as usual I'll leave the link to the hotel down in the description below so you can have a little look at that as well until the next time unfortunately not a lot has actually been going on in craig's life at the moment because there's not much we can be doing really we're just soldiering on at the moment but until the next time you take care of yourselves and we'll see you right here again soon right here on craig's life see you later bye